Hello, Adams. Happy Friday. Um, for social studies today, we are going to take a virtual tour of Ellis Island. And this is just part one because Ellis Island is quite big and there's many different stops that the immigrants had to go through before going into America. So I'm going to split this up into a couple days. So here's the link. So you can go ahead and click on that. And if you press start the tour, and you can follow along with the video, and uh, we're going to go through some of these pictures. So the first stop we're going to talk about, well, let's do some background first. So welcome to Ellis Island. There are more than 12 million immigrants that entered America through Ellis Island between the dates that it was opened. And more than 40% of Americans can trace their family history back to Ellis Island. So um, if you have some European descent in your family history, there are there's a good chance that your family had passed through Ellis Island to get here. And like I said, we're going to follow in the immigrants' footsteps and see what they experienced when they arrived. So step one, remember the passage. They had to take this uh, voyage across the ocean just to get here. So many began that journey on foot, horseback, or train. And then they got on that steamship, which took them across the ocean. And this sometimes lasted one to two weeks. So imagine being stuck on that same ship, crowded, dark, uh, smelly, for two weeks. That's crazy. Um, there could have been up to 3,000 people on these ships. And there's lots of different languages being spoken. So keep that in mind. All right, so arrival. We get to the um, island. The trip was tough. These health officers start to board the ship and look for any signs of disease. If the first and second class passengers pass, they're free to go. The third class passengers, however, had to sit and wait hours or sometimes days for a boat to take them to Ellis Island so that they can get checked out further. So let's take a look. Actually, let's do this one. So some pictures of the passage. That's people um, traveling in Europe by foot. So there's that steamship. Thousands of crowded passengers on those ships. Some children waving an American flag. And um, looked like they made some room for some dancing on the deck of the ship. All right, second step. So when they arrive, here's some photographs. They're spotting the Statue of Liberty. Okay. All right, now we are in the baggage room. Um, so officers greeted the boat and shouted at the passengers to come into the building. So we're now in Ellis Island. The officers then passed out these tags that were numbered and every person got a different number. So imagine if you were here and you didn't speak English, this is gonna be very confusing for them. And they actually left all their belongings in this room until their tests are done. So that could be very scary to just leave your all of your things in a room where you're not sure what's going on. So some more pictures of immigrants arriving. That's a picture of one of those tags that might have been put on a passenger. Okay. Next step is the registry room, and this is the room where doctors are going to check people out at first. So just by first glance, they're looking to see who looks sick, who might have trouble walking. This is a very big and very loud room. It's very echoey. Um, officials decide if people could go into New York City right away or if they needed further testing, and this was where they were tested for um a contagious eye disease called trachoma. And this was a very traumatizing experience for immigrants because the doctors would actually use a tool to lift the person's eye eyelid and get into their eyeball. So it was very uncomfortable. And if they had this, they were sent back home. So let's see some more pictures of the registry room. Okay, some doctors getting checked with an eye exam. that giant room. It's also known as the Great Hall because it's so big. Lots of different officials. Lots of lines. Okay. Next step is the medical exam. So 
doctors did a six second physical. This means they looked at a person for six seconds and they're looking for red eyes, limping, shortness of breath, something that is not normal that might mean that they are sick. And they actually took a piece of chalk and they marked people's clothing if they, if they had some signs of sickness. And if you passed this test, you were taken through more metal rails that followed through the next inspection. So they are not done yet on their journey through Ellis Island. And this is just some of the um, markings that they would put on these people people's clothes if they showed sickness. So if they had a problem with their face, they would write an F. If they had a problem with their back, they would write a B. Um, conjunctivitis, that's a type of disease, they would write a C. So different letters meant different things for these um, officials. All right, let's take a look at those last pictures and then I'll read you your questions. So here's the medical exam. So those metal rails that they were taking them through, very crowded. That's another picture of the markings. All right, so number one, more than blank percent of Americans can trace their family history back to Ellis Island. Two, true or false, not knowing English was difficult for immigrants. Three, every passenger was taken right to Ellis Island once the ship arrived. Four, how did the officers keep track of the passengers? Six, what happened in the registry room? Sorry, I keep getting off track with the numbers. That was five. Six, what tool were people marked with if they showed signs of sickness? Seven, how many seconds did doctors look at a patient for? And eight, if a passenger was marked with a B, what or where is their illness? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed learning about Ellis Island. We're going to keep learning next week. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye, Adams.